the Home Minister said this. Uh, well, they're making it as a loud argument. But I do hope that on this table, nothing as silly as that could be sustained for even half a second. I mean, these are, these are silly reasons. Let's get into the most substantive part. Uh, what is the main argument here? The argument is that it will seriously hamper and restrict black money. That was the argument put forward. And that's no, why we... Is, uh, can I, can I yeah, complete please. what I say? Uh, and added to that was the idea that maybe, you know, fake currency would be stopped, that uh, maybe it will do something to terror money, etc. And that more transactions will take place through the formal system. Mm -hmm. These are essentially the rationale of the system. Forget the terror money, it's a silly argument. Uh, on the fake currency, yes, it has stopped. The only question is, what was the amount of that fake currency? And what did you need to do? Did you need to dry the river in order to catch that one crocodile, that's an argument that needs to be made. Uh, we supported it initially by saying any measure to control black money should in principle be supported. It all depends on execution. After one month, what we can say is that it was a, as an idea, it was laudable. As execution, it's, uh, as design, it's questionable whether you needed to do it at four hours notice in the manner in which it was done. Execution, I'm afraid, has been terrible, terrible, deplorable. Consequences in the short term, we can keep debating. In the long term, let's only say that it is debatable. 